are guides, we are kings. We march in faith because we believe we can. Change the world to what it needs. Stand against our enemies because we can. Yeah. We are kings, demanding change Cause we believe we can Hey, our women should not be like this Our women should not be like this Our women should not be like this, be like this. Read Hey sis, just humble down Just humble down Hey, this is the word of God, read not with braided hair, I go. It says what? It says read, read. Not with braided hair, I go. Our pearls are costly away. But, but, but becoming women professing works of good works. It's supposed to be, they're supposed to be professing works of good works. Our older women must be out here teaching our, our young sisters to be professing good works. Hey, how you doing, sis? Hey, what's your name? Who? Tiffany. Hey, what's your name, bro? Boyer. 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 Yeah. Hey, how, how y'all doing today, man? Magnificent. Ma Magnificent. So I got I got a couple questions for y'all. All right. So first of all, I, I want to deal with a couple things. Okay. Give me uh uh Titus. Titus two. Hey, sis. Tiffany, don't walk away. I'm not going anywhere. All right. Hey, how you doing, bro? Come here for a second. I got a question. I got to No, I'm sorry. You can't. You can't. Wear it. How you doing? I'm sorry. You got, you got, got a question. All right. So, I'm looking at the condition of our people. Yeah, it came. It came Why do you think our people are in this condition? As a All right. First of all, give me Deuteronomy 28 15. You said what now? And the creation. Well, yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. We are disconnected from our, our the Most High God because we broke we broke His laws. So right now, that got us in the midst of sin, which causes us to cleave to all manners of evil, yeah. drugs, uh, whoredom, prostitution, all this stuff. Okay, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, uh -huh. which I have commanded thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It says all these curses shall come upon us and overtake thee. I want to deal with something. You see our sister here, our sister Tiffany. Come here, Tiffany. I, I, I want to show you something. I want to show you something what, what guys say about our elder women, okay? I want to show you something, all right? Because you are supposed to be a leader for all these younger sisters around here. Yeah. You agree with that? Okay, so it's a certain way our elder women, we got to, y'all have to carry yourself. Because if not, our young sisters, they will never know how to be this righteous woman God is calling y'all to be. And same with our older men, all right? Read that. Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. Uh -huh. That age woman likewise, uh -huh. that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. It says as they be in behavior as becoming holiness. You know what a holy woman is? A godly woman. What's a godly woman? That's exactly right. A woman that keeps God's commandments. That's a holy woman. Right. Those sisters that's in the church that say, oh, I'm a, I'm a godly woman. And they don't do nothing this Bible say. No, exactly. The church is full of lies. Right. Like right. for right now, they out here, they out here uh, giving out food and stuff on God's Sabbath day. 
You understand it? They probably cooked it. Now they out here trying to give it to the homeless. They think they're doing the, the work of God. That's not of God. No, 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 no. We're going to deal with that. Hold on. We're going to deal with it. Let us deal with this point real quick. Read. Not false accusers. Uh -huh. Not giving too much wine. Uh -huh. So our older women, they can't be drunk. Right. They can't be drunk. Read. Teachers of good things. It says teachers of what? Teachers of good things. It says teachers of good things. So, our older women must be teachers of good things. Right. So, Tiffany, I got a question. Right now, the way you're dressed, do you think you're teaching the younger women to be holy? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking the question. Yes or no? Do you? I do what makes me feel good. Anybody else's opinion is their choice. How about God's opinion? God give me the money to buy this. God give you the money to buy what you wear? All right. First Timothy chapter two and verse nine. Cause we gonna deal with this older woman that come out here dressed like this. We go. We gonna deal with it. We gonna deal with it. Read. In like manner also. Just listen to the word of God. This is not me. This is the word of God. Read. In like manner also uh -huh. that women are doing themselves in modest apparel. It says that our older women, our women, period must adorn themselves in modest apparel. Right. They should not be out here with clothes showing they figure. That is for your man, that is for your husband. Yep. They should not be out here, uh, out here with this blonde hair, clothes, they, they got zebra print on, you know, showing their body. They should not be doing that. Read. With shame faceless. With shame faceless, read. And sobriety. Think of this, this is, this is just the 50 years old out here twerking and shit. Hey. Our women should not be like this. Our women should not be like this. Our women should not be like this. Read. Hey, sis, just humble down. Just humble down. Hey, this is the word of God. Read. Not with braided hair. I go. It says what? It says read. Read. Not with braided hair. I go. Our pearls are costly away. But, but, but becoming women professing works of good works it's supposed to be they're supposed to be professing works of good works our older women must be out here teaching our, our young sisters to be professing good works not carrying themselves like a harlot not carrying themselves they're supposed to be carrying themselves as a woman of god all right give me deuteronomy 20 uh 22 and 5. read that deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It says the woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So, let's go back to that first part. Read. Verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So, our sisters cannot be out here wearing these pants. That's right. Right. Our sisters be out here wearing these tight ass clothes and wonder why they getting these yeast infections. And wonder why these brothers trying to rape them. Wonder why these brothers are always trying to have sex with them. When you dress like that, that's all brothers want. Right. They want sex. They don't want nothing. They don't want to marry you. Freedom. They don't want to make you, they don't want to make you that that uh they don't want to make you their possession. They just want to hit it and quit it. Right. They don't want to make you a wife. They don't want to ki uh, have kids with you and be there for the kids. Y'all wonder why our women, y'all wonder why our women always going missing. Half of the damn reason because how we dress. And she's supposed to be an older woman teaching our younger sisters how to dress. Bring it on. And all she got to do is read the Bible. Right. The Bible tell you how our women supposed to dress. Our, the Bible tell our women how to carry themselves. For too long, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans Black men and black women, we have gone without God right. for too long. But now today, the prophets are out here to show y'all what God requires of y'all. Right. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. We ain't out here asking you for no money. We out here to give you the word of God. Right. Right. We're not out here to tell you our own opinion. Right. We telling you, thus say the Lord. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel. It said, and now Israel. In case you don't know, that's you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Read. What do it the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh-huh. But to fear the Lord thy God. It says you must fear God. You must fear God. Not me. 
not him, not none of these brothers out here, but it says fear God. We are reading you the word of God. That's fear the word of God. Read. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. To walk in his ways is what? Sisters, put a modest dress on. Right. Take them damn pants off. Stop showing your body. Take the old press of weave out your head. Right. Right. Stop twerking. We got an older sister out here twerking. What kind of example is that for our younger sisters? If the older sisters are doing the same thing. Right. Read. And to love him. And to love him. Because I guarantee you that sister will be over in that church tomorrow. I tell me I love God. Bring it out. How the hell you love God dressing like a whore? A whore? A harlot? Give me Deuteronomy 23 and 17. Bring Bring it out. Because these sisters think I can dress how I want and get into the kingdom. Read. Deuteronomy chapter, chapter 23 and verse 17. Uh -huh. There shall be no whore uh -huh. of the daughters of Israel. So when you dress like a whore, guess what? The most I God call you a whore. When you dress immodest, you are in the, the uh, attire of a harlot, a whore. Read. No sodomite of the sons of Israel. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. No. Because guess what? Them, them, soft, them soft sodomite uh, men and women in them churches, they're not going to get the kingdom either. Right. We got to come out of the Christian church. Right. The, hey, the Christian church is leading our people straight to hell. Right. I'm talking about destruction. That's what the Christian church is doing. Our people been going to church for hundreds of years and no change. No. You think marching, giving out food is going to help? No. What's going to help is you keeping God's commandments. That's, right. that's the only thing that's going to help the black man. That's the only way that's going to help the Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, black woman. Right. It ain't, no. it ain't none of this. It ain't none of this going to church, cooning and shucking. Listen to a good sermon. That's right. The pastor only in there for your money. Right. Come out of them churches. Come back to the laws of God. Right. Women, y'all must rise back up. Come that holy woman that God called you to be. That's right. The pastor ain't gonna tell you that because he loves seeing y'all uh, in them tight behind clothes. You know. Get it, Titus two and three. Go back to that. You know. Titus chapter two and verse three. That age woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. So they must be in behavior as becoming holiness. Right. Becoming holiness. Right. Read. Not false accusers. Not false accusers. Can't be out here lying on folks. Read. Not giving too much wine. Not being drunk. Ain't no telling what was in that cup. The sister probably drank it already. Bring it out. Read. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. What good things is that old that sister right that was right here teaching? I hear them tight behind clothes. Bring it out. Showing her breasts. Right. Showing her behind. That's supposed to be for her man. Bring it out. All right, so brother, I got a question. Did you think, do you think that right there, what that sister was wearing was appropriate? It wasn't modest. It wasn't modest, right? It wasn't, uh, yeah, it, it so, sex. it provokes, it, sex. It provokes what? Say that on the I need you to say that. It provokes sex appeal. That's okay, so so when a brother see her, you think they gonna want to marry her or they want to have sex with her? Exactly. Bring it out. And this coming from my older men. All right, get uh First Corinthians eleven and three real quick. So I just we gonna go over some laws because the thing is we out here for our people, man. Right. You gotta go. What you gotta do? All right. Hey, you know there's no buying or selling on the Sabbath day, right? The day is the Sabbath day. Did you know that? You do understand? All right. Thank you so much. All right. Hey, go back. Uh, read that. Uh, go to First Corinthians six and nine. Read it. First Corinthians six and nine. First Corinthians chapter six and verse nine. Read it. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So you so-called black man, Hispanic man, or Hispanic woman, hey, the unrighteous will not get the kingdom of God. Right. My sister said, oh. Oh, it's my opinion. It's, you know, I don't, you know, God gave her the money to buy the clothes she wear. God didn't do that. Why would God give you something to go against his laws? Bring it out. Bring it out. Be, be not deceived. Uh -huh. Neither fornicators, uh -huh. nor idolaters, uh -huh. nor adulterers, uh -huh. nor effeminate, 
nor are abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, uh -huh. nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So none of these people can get the kingdom of God. But the point I'm making is some of us used to be like that. Right. We used to be in the midst of whoredom. Right. We used to be in the midst of uh, uh, all kind of uh, drunkenness, drug addiction. We used to be like that. Right. But we changed. Y'all can change too. That's right. Y'all can go from being at the bottom back to that righteous state God gave you. Right. Y'all can do that. We did it. Right. So can you. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.